Oh yeah. Big eagle. Yes. Hey guys, we're back at the Drain Lake here where we found the trime. It's January 11th, it's cold. There's a little spot, the house is like, was right there. It's a little area out in there that's not completely frozen. So we made the drive out. I figured we might as well give that a try. Everything else is pretty much frozen solid so there's a little area we're gonna try it and see what happens all right well that didn't take too long we've been here about 10 minutes we got a little thimble it says something on it it's only half of it's gone I might have crushed it, but it looks, don't look like it's that I did it. Let's see what that says there. Tell you what, that thing might be silver too. Had to switch batteries, that one died. I'm sure the cold ain't helping with that. Yeah, I thought it might have been silver at first, but I think it's just aluminum. It says... Oh, it says sewing on it. That's cool. Haven't found one of these in a bit. Nice, I'll definitely take that. Um, it's pretty frozen. I mean probably a good two inches down is solid crust but once you get that top layer off it's not too bad so um we're gonna keep going see what we can get we just popped that it's reading a 12 it's right in this frozen clump it's a two-piece button and it looks pretty pretty fragile um there's definitely something on it i just want to be careful oh yeah big eagle yes oh sweet kidding me man this thing's crunchy I don't want to bust it up but I gotta give it a little brushing see if um can see anything inside that shield if I can get my Rush out of here. Well, this made the trip worth it right here. Awesome. Man. Let's see. Probably just going to be a general service, but that is definitely Civil War. Sweet. I'll clean it up more at home. You can see the back. That thing's about to crumble to pieces. 
it's all cracked up. I don't think I hit it so hard with the ground being frozen. Awesome. Super happy with that. That definitely made the drive worthwhile. Sweet. Take that all day. All right. It makes being out here in the cold worth it. I just popped that. It looks fat. Hopefully a uh, big Indian. Could be even be a flying eagle. Oh yeah, Indian. Awesome. I was ringing low, 15, 15, 16. That's definitely gonna be a fat one. It's got a shield on the back so we know it's not gonna be a 1859. That back is not horrible. Let's see if we can get a date off this sucker. I don't know if we're going to be able to. Yeah, that thing was ringing up low. Normally they're around 18, 19. Mm. Yeah. I don't know. I have to work on that one a little bit. It definitely is fat though. So that's going to be 1859 to 1864 was the transition year that some of them are fat and some of them are a little thinner. All right, we'll keep going. Just dug like that. Just looks like a piece of metal with a hole drilled in it, but I flip it over and I see gilt. So that is definitely a button that has been repurposed. That is pretty cool. It's the first one of those I found. Doesn't look like there's any design. Must have been just a flat button. But it's definitely got a drilled hole. And you can see the back mark. It's got a little design on the back. That is cool. That is really cool. Alright, we're finding stuff, so we're going to stick around. We're kind of wearing this little area out, but... All right, we'll do a quick little wrap up here. Since we found that Indian, it's been about two hours. Went up in the woods. There was still about five inches of snow, so couldn't do nothing there. Um, we tried going out to the spot where we found that large scent, the Canadian large scent or Canadian penny from 1852, I believe it was. Um, it was frozen solid, so we made the probably half a mile, maybe mile walk out there, and it was completely solid, so that kind of bummed me out, but we'll end the day on that. Um, this is what we did get. I did find this Zippo down there. It says USS Letty. That was kind of cool. Um, over at the other spot, that's... Um, Back of a two-piece, front's gone. Found a little piece of a harmonica reed. I think that's um, maybe an organ reed. Weights, that was kind of cool. I didn't get that on film. The bezel to a pocket watch, probably. That was our first find, the little thimble. Some type of winder, maybe. I don't know, though it's got threads on it, so I don't know what, not sure what that is. Found a wheat, 1911. That was over at the first spot. 
This was cool. That was the first for me. Definitely got a back mark on it. You can see that gilt. So whatever, whatever they repurpose that into, probably a washer or something. That was pretty cool. And we got the Indian, the fat Indian. Dateless. Pretty toasted, but we know it's not an 1859 because it's got the shield, but pretty thick. The find of the day, I would say, is that Civil War... It's going to be a general service button. I'll look into it. I got a button book at home because that might be a New York militia one, maybe, of some type. It's cracked, so I didn't really want to get too crazy with it. And, yeah, that's about it. I don't know. We're going to have to let it warm up before we can really get back out there. Hopefully it does, but we're January 11th right now, so we're pushing our luck as it is. Um, felt good to get out, though. Didn't find a ton, but did pretty good, all considering. All right, see you on the next one.